highway just at the harbour front centre here in Toronto. Um, here I am, let me take my glasses off. And we're just going to be renting one of the kayaks from there and do some kayaking on Lake, Lake Ontario. So I just have to go and pay. There's the building there where you pay. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so there's my paddle. I just got the life jackets. Um, it's kind of tight. So we're just going to get the boat and head out in a sec. Okay. So uh, we're currently right down here and we're looking out this way. So you can paddle anywhere in the harbour and also anywhere in the channels here. You just can't paddle outside the harbour and you also can't paddle in these three red zones here, okay? okay. So the eastern gap and the western gap, these are just channels that lead out of the harbour. And then this zone right here is part of the airport. Planes will land and take off on this runway so they get very low to the water. Um, so they don't want anyone going in there. There's a big fine for doing so and it's going to be marked by these white buoys in the water. These okay. markers. Um, and I'll point them out to you once we go up there to the boat, alright? Alright. Do you have any questions about the map so far? Uh, I don't know if I'll make it as far as the island, but that's okay. okay. Fair enough. Yeah, you can okay. also go up and down the shoreline yeah. here and just look at uh, sort of what's going on there. It's my first time, so I'm just taking pictures right now. Maybe next time I'll go up to the island. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Um, for some more general rules, just life jackets got to be on when you're in, on the yeah. water at all times. Uh, there's going to be no bare feet on the docks here. Okay, it's going to be very difficult to film. Oh, the water is very rough here because of all the ferries. You can just see me here. I just pulled out. Um, I don't know how much I can film. The water is very rough because of all the ferries going. You can see one there. So I have to put this camera away. You can just see the airport in the background there as well. Every time these boats go, it's rocking so much. Okay, I've done this many times before, but this is the most bouncy the water's been because of all these boats going by. Okay, and they're creating so many waves. They're going round and round. There's another one there. <sighs> okay, maybe coming here wasn't the best. Oh, it's bouncing so much. It's, it's not calm here. When I went on Humber River, it was a lot more calmer. This is way too bouncy. Here come the waves again. God, like, you know, it just won't calm down. I mean, it's fun. Like, come on a weekday. I wouldn't recommend this for a beginner um, because it's very choppy. If you're a beginner, do a tandem, but it's definitely relaxing and I'm here on a weekday. On a weekend, this would be way too crowded with all the boats going back and forth. It would be 10 times. Let's try and get the river. <laughs> so back on dry dock now. Um, the battery died on me. I wasn't going to change it mid-water because it was so bouncy out there. But um, there's that fire rescue boat. It keeps going in and out for practice and it's making it bouncy and there's all these other boats going back and forth. So my recommendation is if you're a beginner, don't come alone, do a tandem boat and don't come on a weekend. See that guy solo there. On the weekend, there's like 10 times as many boats here going back and forth to the island. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, it was fun. It was worth it. See you till next time. Yeah, that's how I pulled in.